Hi guys, it's Jenny here and welcome to another video. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different than what we usually do here at Christie's. And we're actually gonna teach you how to get the perfect photo of the dogs in your salon or your pets at home if you are a pet owner. Now, if you're a dog groomer, you know that customers absolutely love it whenever you take a lovely photo at the end of their groom of their dog looking absolutely gorgeous. So all of these tips and tricks will really help you to level up those photos. And you can also include these photos as an add-on service and earn a little bit of extra cash. And if you're a pet owner, you can still use these tips and tricks to make your dog look flawless for your social media, for your family, or who, whoever you want to show them to. But you'll also see that we're doing a little bit of an autumnal theme today. This is being released in October, so you can see the little pumpkins. So we'll be showing you how to set up a little bit more of a stage shot as well, in case that's something you want to do. But first, let me show you how you can take your photo from this to this. But before we dive into the video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel if you are a fan of our content so that you don't miss another video. So step one, dressing your set. So you may be going, I don't have a set, but whenever I say this, what I really mean is wherever you are taking the photo, so whether it's your dog grooming salon, your backyard, or even your living room, it's all a set when you are taking a photo. But it's really important just that you make these surroundings look really good. So depending on the type of shot you're going for, it really depends on what steps you need to take to make sure your surroundings look at their best. For a natural shot, make sure your tabletops or surfaces are clear from hair, dust or unnecessary objects. So give them a wipe down to prevent this and be extra careful with items such as your phone or your grooming scissors or just small items that can be really easily forgotten. So then ensure that your background is clear. Now you don't need to remove absolutely everything from your background, but just make sure the items are placed a little bit further back, just so that the dog is the star of the show. So for a stage shot, whenever we're talking about this, we're gonna be using different props and different backdrops to really create an atmosphere in the photo. I know a lot of dog groomers do seasonal photo shoots for their customers and they seem to be really, really popular. So because it's autumn time, whenever this video is being released, we're gonna be doing a little simple autumnal scene that's really easy to follow. So hopefully this helps you out. So similarly to a natural shot, you'll need to get your background right. So as you can see, we have these rollers here with card on them for our backgrounds that we can swap out, but you can create a similar effect with a large piece of card. So if you get a clothes reel, you can hang the card up using a hanger and you instantly have a cheap and easy way of changing out your backgrounds. You can also get thematic backgrounds online, for example, on eBay with different scenes on them, which can really add to the effect you'll be going for. One thing to note whenever you're choosing these backgrounds is the color of the dogs you're gonna be photographing. For example, at Halloween, it may seem like the obvious option to go really dark in the background. However, if you're photographing dark or black dogs often, it'll be harder to distinct them from the background. We always find that a more colorful approach is better, and that's why we've chosen orange for this shoot. Then make sure that you're setting up any props on the table that's gonna add a little bit of fun and atmosphere to the picture. You can even include products in these photos to show off what you've been using on the dog. Now let's talk about lighting. Lighting is massively important when it comes to taking photos. It can really be the difference between a bad shot and a good shot, to be quite honest. So what you have to think about is whether you're using natural lighting or artificial lighting. So if you're using natural lighting, come with me to a window and I will talk to you about it there. So when it comes to natural lighting, where you position yourself is key. So if you notice the light is coming in from behind me, and as you can see, my face isn't very clear, it's quite dark and it's just not the shot you want. Whereas now the light is in front of my face and as you can see, it's much clearer, it's much brighter. You can see everything's in focus. So if you are using natural lighting, just make sure that your station or wherever you're taking your photo is in front of the light. If this isn't an option, artificial lighting may be the route to go down. In most spaces, you'll have overhead lighting, which causes shadows underneath the eyes and anywhere that might affect the light. So a quick fix for this is getting a ring light. So you can point this directly at the pet, but if you find that the overhead shadows are a bit too much, lower the light slightly and then have this pointing slightly upwards. This will counteract the shadows, easing them to create a more balanced shot. When it comes to taking photos, angles are key and with pet photos, you'll need to work your knees a little bit to get the right angle. Because if you take a picture from the top down, standing up straight, you won't see the full groom, you won't see all of the dog and they just won't be as clear. 
The best angle to take pets from is eye level, so if you bend your knees down to eye level, you'll get a clearer shot. If you're in a grooming salon and you have a grooming table, and if it's electric or hydraulic, you can raise the dog up to your height to give your knees a break. And if you struggle with a shaggy hand, purchasing a phone holder helps too. And as always, make sure you are taking these photos with your back camera, as these cameras are usually of a higher spec, meaning that the quality will be better. And then when it comes to physically working with the pet, you really have to gauge their personality a bit. One of the first things we reach for is a treat, but when some dogs see a treat, they go absolutely crazy. So using these for photos isn't great. So a lot of the time then we'll use our voices and we'll use noises to get their attention. But a lot of the time it's about biding your time, just letting the dog do what they do and eventually you'll get the perfect shot for them. So here's a little sneak peek of what I was doing to get Frank to take these lovely images. Now it's time for the edit. I'm going to be showing you how to edit these photos on your phone's photo editing settings. When it comes to editing your photo, less is more. When editing a pet video, I'd recommend editing the brightness and then the tones of the photo. You shouldn't need to brighten or darken your photo too much if your lighting is good. However, giving it a quick brighten up may make all the difference. Sometimes when we brighten photos, the shadows can become grey. If this happens, I'd go to your contrast and up this slightly to get that definition back. Finally, let's talk about tones. So every room has a tone and basically if you have green walls, a lot of your photos might have a green hue to them. Similarly, if you have warm colours in your room, you may also get a more yellowy tinge to your photos that you don't like. Now don't be scared by this. If you look at the colour wheel on the screen, you'll see the different hues your photo could be in and how you balance these out is by using the opposite colour on the wing. So if your photo is looking slightly orange, add some blue. And if your photo is looking too green, add a little bit of pink to the photo. In your phone, you'll find the warmth slash temperature setting. And this is where you can fix oranges and blue use. And then in the tint section, this is where you can fix greens and pinks. So editing your photos is really where you get to play about. You can add different tones in, you can use different contrasts. There's really no limits on what you can do with your photo. And it's best just to play about with these and see what you like for future use. So hopefully you've gained some tips and tricks along the way to really level up your photos. But let's take a look at the final result once again. Doesn't Frank look like an absolute angel? He's such a cutie. Thanks again for watching this video and make sure you tune into the next one. Bye.